a little crazy run around a bus route. I'm excited because I get to see this for the first time. <laughs> Check it out. So, so tell us a little bit about the exhibit, then we'll take a look at a piece of the gear. Sure, John. Now, uh, you know, we've uh, talked with your uh, listeners and viewers before earlier in the year about the great opportunity that the National Park Service has given us in loaning us some of the firearms from Sagamore Hill, Theodore Roosevelt's home in Oyster Bay, Long Island. And uh, we got to visit the secret room and uh, handle some of them. Which and, was a uh, lot of fun. It was. <laughs> uh, but now they, uh, they need to be on display for the public. That's why we have them for the next couple of years. And uh, this very morning, uh, we went online with uh, two of our, uh, our newest uh, display cases and what is kind of a, a work in progress as we continue to evolve and develop the uh, Theodore Roosevelt collection here. Which is cool because if you're a regular first time, you can see it and see it as it evolves. So, right. so what are we going to look at now? Well, this uh, panel is called the Lion's Pride. Uh, the, uh, the Lion's Pride refers to the, uh, the five children, or six children of Theodore Roosevelt, uh, two girls and four boys. Uh, who all were taught by their father uh, how to shoot, hunt, safe firearms handling, uh, conservation, sportsmanship. Rhetoric. Rhetoric. Oh, just wonderful, <laughs> wonderful childhood. <laughs> and uh, this shows the uh, four guns that uh, belong to the, uh, to the four boys uh, that we know of. Uh, the top gun is a, uh, is a Savage 99. And illustrated in the photo is Theodore Roosevelt Jr. with this very gun on the occasion of him uh, taking his very first deer. Unfortunately, it happened to be the same day that William McKinley was assassinated 300 miles away. Wow. Um, and then right, right the day before his 14th birthday, six days later, McKinley would die, and there, 300 miles from Buffalo, New York, was uh, Vice President Roosevelt and his family on a holiday. What a day. Huh? And uh, that, that gun goes with, uh, with that with that very first uh, deer harvest. Underneath it is a, a very special uh, Springfield Sporterized 1903 uh, Springfield that was taken by Kermit mm -hmm. on safari with his father in 1909-1910. Uh,